So as part of our work, we perform multiple proteomic and genomic studies trying to characterize uh, different populations of astrocytes, right? And obviously it's not clear at this stage whether those populations are developmentally defined or these are different activation states. So that's why we refer to them as subsets. Fact of the matter is we have identified at least one subset that is significantly expanded in MS patients and preclinical models of multiple sclerosis uh, that seems to be promoting disease pathology and it does so by promoting neurotoxicity. Uh, conversely, we also have identified subsets of astrocytes that seem to limit CNS inflammation by inducing the apoptosis, by inducing the death of T cells as they try to make it into the CNS. So those are two examples of probably many other cell subsets, astrocyte subsets that operate in health and disease within the central nervous system.